Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to change the default new folder name in Windows. For example, when you right-click and you do New, and this will do it with text documents too. So we do New Folder. As you can see, it says New Folder. You can, of course, change it right here by just typing whatever you want. But we can set a new default. So here's what we're going to do. We have two ways to do it. Registry Files or Edit the Registry. The registry files are a lot easier. Just take note, you cannot use any of the weird characters, for example, that. So what we would do is you'll download it, look for the I up here in the video, or check the video description for a link to this page. Download the registry files. And when you have them, there is a README first explaining to you how it works. There is a tutorial link that takes you to this page. So we don't have any problems. But what you have is two registry files. Default new folder name default that means that's the way you started default new folder name new name dot reg so we need to either open notepad or you should be able to right click open with and you may have to choose another app if you don't see notepad there and that will open it in notepad if you have notepad open you do file open change this right here to all files go to where the file is and as you can see, I would just open that up. All right, so while you're looking for, don't pay too much attention to this. You're looking for these three words right here, my new folder. Change that to what you want the new folder name to be. Once you're done, you just do the standard double click, run, click yes, click yes, and you're done. Change your mind. Repeat it with the default right here, and you're all set. It's easy to do, and the reason I provide the registry files even though you have to go and edit the text document quote unquote the reg document first is because it's a little harder if you haven't played with the registry this is not one of the first things I would try with the registry because it requires multiple steps let me show you if you want to do it that way back up your registry if you're going to do it this way Windows key plus R reg edit yes we're going to clear this out and control V to paste what you just saw in the background. That would be this right here. And as you can see, that's where we are. So we got to do a couple of things here. The first thing we're going to do is add a new key called naming templates. That's going to need to show up under Explorer. Let me show you. So we're going to go to Explorer. We're going to go new key. As you can see, it's down here below Explorer as part of this line and just control paste or type in naming templates get the capital N get the capital T now that that's done we're gonna go over to the right and we're gonna do a new string value we're gonna name that naming template oh no we're gonna name that sorry I went backwards rename name template so copy that as you can see naming templates we created so now we're gonna go over here do a new string value right over here make sure naming templates that you just created is highlighted right click new string value control V or type in rename name template all one word caps where they're supposed to be RNT now you got that done all we have to do now is change the value data now the value data which you can find by double clicking this is the name of the new folder whatever you put in there will be the name of the new folder right there so as you can see not too tough to do change your mind you could actually come back here now you know you created and edited this you know you created naming templates under Explorer just so you understand what you did you can actually just right click and delete naming templates or if you want to change it for later you could actually change this back to new folder and you could always have it there to play with later. Let's see if it worked without a reboot. It should have. New folder. There you go. Just like that. But keep in mind the one downside to this. Is you're going to get it with your text documents too. That could be a good thing. Maybe not. So keep that in mind. It's not just folders. But again as I mentioned before. When you do the new text document. You can just clear it right out anyway and type in whatever you want piece of cake new folder same thing 
new folder. I just say my folder. I just start typing. I have to clear anything out, do anything. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to sneak onto somebody's computer and, and make it so new folder says uh, virus inside. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I get a little too much time on my hands, I guess. And that's it. So now you know how to get it in there, get it out of there. Any questions, leave a comment. We're glad to help you out if we can. But it's really, really easy to use. So speaking of which, watch this. Downloads. Default. And that just deletes the keys. And now we go back just to show you it works. New folder. There it is, new folder. Ta-da. Piece of cake. All right, appreciate you watching. Hope you got to try this out. Let me know. Bottom right-hand corner should be a subscribe button down there. Feel free. We'd love to have you on board. Click like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.